Hi, I'm Richard Wadley from DLT. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Phenol Swabit. The Phenol Swabit is an impregnated swab licensed for phenolisation following nail matrixectomy. Compliant with the National Patient Safety Alert of August 2021 and the current Royal College of Podiatry guidelines, Swabit are a Class 2A medical device confirmed by the MHRA in April 22 to be correctly classified for use in nail matrixectomy. This classification requires independent oversight from a notified body. Swabits are manufactured in the UK to ISO 13485. Launched in 2004 following initial research by the University of Durham, Swabits have over 17 years of safe and effective use, backed up by the required regular post-market surveys and audits. Personal protective equipment is required in accordance with the safety instructions clearly printed on the pack. The 30 individually wrapped swabs come in a packet with a tear-off top. Tear off the top and open the zip reseal. This can be resealed after use. Also included in the packaging are swabs of a smaller diameter should they be required for your procedure. The initial activation, however, should be performed using the standard size swab. The individual packs also feature a tear-off top. Tear off the top and remove the ampule which will have the swab inserted in it. Repeat this for a number of ampules you require for your procedure. The ampule remains sealed until the point of activation. Activate it at the point of use. Place the base of the ampule on a flat surface and grip the swab approximately 5mm from the top of the ampule. This ensures full control. Apply pressure until you feel and hear a small click as the seal is broken. At this point, the swab can be exchanged for the smaller swab if required. It can then be gently pushed to the base of the ampule and moved around to allow the cotton tip to absorb the phenol liquid. Remove it and apply to the surgical site. Rolling and applying gentle pressure to the swab will cause the phenol to be released. Once used, the swab can be reinserted into the ampule and disposed of in line with your clinical waste policy. For further information or to order, please visit our website or contact our sales office.